On your Degree in 3 website, you will see a CougarNet button on your top right corner. Click this to access CougarNet. You will also see CougarView in your top right corner. CougarView is your online learning environment. Click here to access the portal to all your classes. You can also access your classes under the Technology Resources section under the DN3 tab in CougarNet. This page will come up immediately, and you will want to sign in using your username and password. Your username is your last name underscore first name. Your password is all two digits, month, month, day, day, year, year of your birthday. If you have already logged into CougarNet, use the password you have established. Otherwise, it would be a good idea to change your date of birth to an original password. If this is your first time logging in, it may ask you for your ethnic origin. This only happens during the initial login, so answer and move on to the home page. You will see tabs across the top of the page. The Campus Information tab is a quick and easy guide to access information about CSU. The My Tech tab help desk contact information if you are having troubles and need any additional software for a class. The Help tab is if you need any assistance navigating CougarNet. The Degree in 3 tab is your one-stop shop for all academic needs. And the CougarView is your portal to your online learning community where you access all of your classes. In CougarNet, under your Degree in 3 tab, there are several blocks. The first is your financial aid block. This is where you can access your award information loan processing, and FAFSA forms. The next block is your bursar and student accounts. This block covers all of your student fees and invoice information by semester which you can pay online. Here you can also access your Cougar One account and see when refunds will be dispersed. Next is your personal information block. This is where you will find various information, the most of which is important, is your academic advising record which provides you with all of your grades, GPA, and advisor for each semester. Next, you have your services block. This block houses any other services you may need, such as any changes in your personal information and graduation information. Your registration channel block gives you information about the courses in which you're enrolled, how to contact your advisor if you have questions, and how to withdraw from a session. The final block is the technology resources block. Here is information, here information you will need to know about how to get into your courses and how to access your email. There's even a help desk you can call for all computer related issues. Once you have registered for your classes, you can print out your schedule and your invoice. To do so, scroll down to the bottom of the page. Here you can view all of the following. Under your view holds, you can see any holds such as any unpaid fees. Under the Pay Fees section, you can pay your tuition online. Under Print Invoice, you can see your student fees and class fees. Under Link to Invoice and Bill within ISIS, it's an easy way to look at your bill. Now we are going to explore your academic record. This is under your Personal Information block. Here you can find your student identification number, the name of your current advisor, and your final grades for the semester. This is your academic blueprint. Professors will not email you your grades. Be sure to check here recently. Also under your Degree in 3 tab and in Personal Information block, you have a link to DegreeWorks. To log into DegreeWorks, students must log into their CougarNet account, click on the Enrollment Services tab, and locate the DegreeWorks link under the Personal Information column you will need to turn off your pop-up blocker for DegreeWorks. The first screen that comes up is the student's worksheet. To the left, there is a what if link. You can click on this link to see how changing your major or adding or changing your minor will affect your degree progress. This is only a what if. To officially change your major, see your advisor. You will also see a header that includes general information about the student to include their name, 
CSU ID number, advisor, degree, college, all three GPAs, level, classification, academic standing, major, minor, if applicable, and concentration. There is also a legend to explain the symbols used in degree works. If you scroll down to the if you scroll down on the student worksheet, the first thing you see is your non-course requirements. This includes CPS deficiencies, legislative requirements, core and major hours needed for your degree. These requirements are normally satisfied as you take your courses at CSU. If you have specific questions about these requirements, your advisor will be more than happy to answer them for you. To the right, on the blue separation bar, you will see your academic catalog year the total credits required for your degree, your overall GPA, and the credits you have earned thus far for your degree. The next section is the general education core requirements. To the right on the blue separation bar, you will see your academic catalog year, the credits required to complete this section, the credits thus far applied to this section, and your GPA for this section. These sections of your worksheet breaks down your requirements into areas. Areas A through E and the wellness component, component are considered your core requirements. As we can see, this example, this student has completed his Area A English 1 requirement in the fall of 2012 and passed with an A. The green check mark indicates completion. You can also see this student is currently taking English 2 in fall of 2013. The CURR means the class is currently in progress. If you transferred courses into CSU, then the school at which you took the courses would also appear in this section under your grade. In some areas, you have a choice of which classes you would like to take. For example, in Area C Humanities, Fine Arts, Ethics, this student may choose to take one class in English 2111 or 2112, or ITDS 1145 or 1155, or Philosophy 2010. This will be helpful for you to know as you are building your schedule each semester. Continue to scroll down the screen on your worksheet and you will see all areas of your core requirements, your major course requirements, and your minor requirements if applicable. Your advisor will log notes on this page. You can look at these notes at any time. Faculty members may also leave notes for you on this page. Notes may contain information about which classes to take next semester, what was discussed at your last meeting or phone conversation, and any campus services referrals. The graduation calculator helps you determine what grades you need to graduate with a certain GPA. For instance, if you want to graduate magna cum laude, you would need a 3.60 to 3.79 GPA. You can use this tool and plug in your desired GPA to see what grades you would need to reach your desired GPA by graduation. The advice calculator works just like the graduation calculator, but gives you the information in a different format. Try both and see which one you like better. The term calculator will most likely be the one you use most often. It helps you determine how your overall GPA will be affected by your grades this semester. Are you worried that you may make a C in a course this semester and wonder what it will do to your GPA? Use this calculator to find out. Remember, all calculators are for the estimation purposes only and cannot be used to determine financial aid GPAs. Please see your financial aid counselor for questions. Your advisor will use degree works during advising each semester to help you understand your degree progression here at CSU. If you have any questions, please contact your advisor for assistance. And when you are finished, always remember to log out. Over it. <laughs>